as a parent, as a military parent, I, I'm so frightened. And it's personal. It's really personal now. And not only my son, but like, like there's an expression, all mother's tears are the same. So when I read the paper in the morning or I, I look on the internet and I see somebody else has been killed, and, and, and 10 times that number killed in Iraq, Iraqi people killed, my heart is broken. It's, fr it's, it's so tragic. I want President Bush to say, this isn't the right thing. This isn't right for Iraq. Let the Iraqi people have their country back. We're going to bring the troops home. We're going to bring them home. Our commanders can find ways to get them home quickly and safely. We'll provide the funding. We'll take care of them when they get here. He's not going to say that. He's willing to use our kids and the Iraqi people as cannon fodder. And that's a crime. That's a terrible crime. I went to the wake of somebody who was killed last month from the town of Carlsbad, a 20-year-old who didn't have a chance to live. And I, you know, I went to the wake and I looked in his eyes and I, I just sobbed because I sobbed for his family and I, I sobbed in fear for my own. I don't want any more deaths. I don't want any more wounded. My greatest fear is to lose my kid. You know, you watch every step they take. You do all these things to give them, to nurture them. I don't want him to be killed. I don't want him to be injured. And also, I don't want my kid to kill another human being or to hurt another human being.